We want to compete with Starbucks in selling pumpkin spice lattes. We are a new coffee chain and we just know we can do it. We want to track our data. So what do we expect our data to look like? We expect the data to be seasonal. In the spring and summer, we may sell fewer pumpkin spice lattes and in the autumn and winter, we may sell a lot more. So we track our data and we do well. Every year we sell more and more pumpkin spice lattes. But we want to understand our sales better. So we start tracking monthly sales because we know we have seasonal data. This is what our sales data looks like on a monthly basis. And the peaks, those are our autumn and winter months. In year one, we sell a total of 100 pumpkin spice lattes. And in year two, we sell 200. And in year three, we sell 300. In year one, we had 100 total customers and 60 of those came in during the winter months. In year three, we had 300 total customers and still 60 of them came in during the winter months. Wouldn't we expect this number to be higher? And we're right, this data is really weird. Something must have gone wrong in measuring our sales. Look, this is our more realistic looking data. We are now selling 60 additional pumpkin spice lattes in our first year, 120 in our second year, and 180 in our third year during our peak months. And this is exactly the difference between the multiplicative and additive data. Additive seasonality occurs when the seasonal variation remain relatively constant over time, regardless of the overall level of the series. For example, temperatures. Daily or monthly temperature readings often display additive seasonality. The difference between summer and winter temperatures tend to remain fairly constant from year to year, even if we have gradual warming or a cooling trend. Multiplicative seasonality occurs when the seasonal variation increases or decreases proportionally with the level of the series. For example, retail sales data, such as our pumpkin spice lattes. Other examples are air passenger traffic and other tourist data.